Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. You guys, it's the last video of our sew along and I am so excited to show you my finished dress. So as you know, this is McCall's 7405. It's a learn to sew for fun pattern. As you've seen in the past eight weeks, the instructions are super easy to follow and include so many helpful tips. Now, admittedly, I did not make a muslin for this dress, and so this is my wearable muslin, if you will. And since it's rare for a pattern to be perfect right out of the envelope, there are some things I would change for my next version. First, let's address the elephant in the room. You might notice that my dress is missing the elastic casing I spent all that time adding in week six of the sew along. As it turns out, the casing is placed four inches below your natural waist, which I determined was just way too uncomfortable for my body type. As I walked, the elastic wouldn't stay down and the dress kept riding up, which made it way too short. So I just took the elastic out. I'm still using the belt for a little waist definition at my actual waist. So next time I'll move the casing placement up to my natural waist. I'll also make it a little longer. If you can remember, I actually took some length out of the dress in week two of the sew along based on the finished garment measurements, but inevitably you lose some length as the fabric is pulled in either by the belt or the elastic casing. So I'll add back the length I took away and maybe another inch just to be safe. Also, I'd like to address a problem I've been reading about in the comments. Many of you are saying that the arm size are too low showing your bras. And I wanna make sure you all are wearing your dress high enough. It's intended to be worn very high on the neck up by your collarbones like I'm wearing mine. So make sure you're pulling it up high enough. If that isn't comfortable for you, then on your next version, you can lower the neckline. Also, probably on the version you've already made, you could simply make that alteration as well. You would just cut off the current casing and sew a new one that's a little bit lower. I have styled my dress today with my Seamwork Audrey jean jacket and some silver slip-ons from Target. I got my earrings at Charlotte Flea last weekend and I think I need more acrylic accessories in my life. I want to wrap things up today by just saying how proud I am of all of you that took on this sew along. Whether you're a true beginner or are coming back from a sewing hiatus, you should be so proud of yourselves. I have a lot of plans to continue to bring content to this channel for beginners and experts alike, so I hope you'll continue on your journey of making a handmade wardrobe. Please continue to send me pictures on Facebook or tag me in your Instagram photos. I'm loving seeing them. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.